Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Bama Standard, brought to you by Workspace Solutions and Oakmont Financial Partners, LLC. I am your host, Justin Wiley. With me, as always, is senior analyst of Touchdown Alabama Magazine, Stephen M. Smith. And back from an incredible leg day, Bo Scarborough. What's going on, fellas? <laughs> What's going on, Doing man? Doing good, man. I mean, Bo looking good, man. Man, killing leg day. Listen, man. man I, I've been trying to do a little something, man. A little something? Like I was saying before we came, came on screen, bro, I hadn't seen 405 move that fast and that smooth in a while. Definitely not for me, man. <laughs> hey, it, it, it wasn't smooth. It was a lot of screen went into that. Man, you were focused today, man. That was an awesome leg day. Got me inspired. All right. Well, Stephen M. Smith, I need to turn the mic over to you because our guests are here. You need to introduce them. Ladies and gentlemen, this is March Madness. So what better way to start than having some legends? Go ahead, Stephen. Well, we, we are known for football a lot, but since it is the NCAA Tournament March Madness, in the words of Jim Nance, hello, friends. But the basketball version of that, hello, friends. <laughs> we got the three people that put family basketball, Coleman Rock and Kyle Sam, in the middle of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, on the freaking map. So we're going to start this thing off with the monster in the middle of the paint. He'll elbow you to the ground. He'll dunk on you if you, if you got to. He'll walk in triple-double. We're talking points, <laughs> rebounds, and assists when he felt like it. We're talking about the man from Uniontown, baby, Owen Skywalker Dudley. Oh, my God. But then, but then we got the purest shooter. Ball handler can wet you up from three, can pull up from the mid range, can take you straight to the hole. Mark Godfrey was like, My God, can you calm down sometime? But he had to do it because he was doing it with that tide on him. We're talking about Kennedy, Silky. Winston, Kenny Winston, the fielder, baby, Silk Winston. And then we got the slasher, not slash your tires, but slash this straight to that hole, dunking on you every time he got the ball in his hand, probably making you fall on the ground as he crossed you up. I know he crossed my eyeballs up a couple of times, but anyway, <laughs> we got Rod Gazan in the building. Let's go! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hey, Steve, you ate that one up, my guy. <laughs> he did that. Man, you did it right there, bro. <laughs> Don't get no better than that. Man, when's the last time you had an intro like that, guys? Oh, boy. I can't, I can't even say I ever had one like that. <laughs> <laughs> but not even at Coleman? Yeah. Not like that. 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 Not Not like that. 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 that. Well, first of all, Steve, how old were you at that time? Were Don't you, ask you, me that question. Were you old enough to reach the mic? <laughs> yeah, I was. I was. I was. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, welcome in for basketball fans. It is Christmas time, so Merry Christmas. Glad to have y'all here. Oh, yeah. Glad Great to pleasure to be here. Hey, man, man, it's been, it's been too long since, you had, had, since we had you on, so we had to do it right and get this tournament kicked off. Before we do that, Stephen M. Smith, you got a couple of news and notes, man. If you would, go ahead and lead off with that. And after we do that, we're going to get right down to business. Well, right now we got the NFL free agency going on with the new year is tomorrow. And we already are seeing a whole bunch of moves being made. Of course, Tom Brady made me upset by coming back. All that pulling my leg, <laughs> think he's going to retire. And then he want to come back. I, I just feel like Tom went home and saw them kids and saw Giselle's <laughs> grocery list. And he went, Giselle and groceries, kids, and a fail. Hey, Bruce Arians, give me a bottle, bro. I'm coming back, Bruce. I'm coming back. Let me, let me Jack and Coke, Bruce. I'm coming, you back to, I'm coming back to the no. league. So, I mean, that's, probably, that's my thing. thought of what Tom Brady was thinking. But we also got 
some Bama guys that have been shaking some things in free agency. Cam Robinson's going back to the Jaguars. He's been franchise tagged. My boy Levi Wallace getting that deal from the Steelers, two years, eight million. So he joins Minka Fitzpatrick. Happy about that right there. Uh, Amari Cooper goes to Cleveland. I'm still salty about that. Baker Mayfield, you better do him right, Baker. You better do Coop right, Baker. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, Mac Wilson goes from Cleveland to the Patriots. Happy to see Mac Wilson get out of Cleveland. Uh, but, yes. uh, yeah, a uh, few of those uh, Bama guys just making some noise there in free agency moving around. Also, a Sean Dion re-signed to the Lions. Hopefully my boy can stay healthy in Detroit. <laughs> That's what's up. Hey, speaking about being upset about Tom Brady coming back, Who's more upset, uh, you, Steve, uh, Steve, you or uh, the guy who spent 500000 for that last touchdown pass that he threw, Ooh. that ball he threw to Mike Evans? <laughs> you know, what? that's a good Ooh. question. You know, I still would say me, but that guy may be a bit more upset. <laughs> I don't know, Steve. I don't know if you uh, have oh, a cool you, 500K to just yeah, throw away. But... <laughs> Also, got to throw out, Mo Williams has just become the head coach at Jackson State here Big right Mo. in my backyard. Pretty excited about that. That's a homecoming for him. Uh, Murrah High School standout. So excited to have him back in the capital city. Deion Sanders is already doing a great job and making some incredible changes. It's been amazing just to witness what he's doing. Now we got Mo side by side doing his thing in basketball. Really excited for what he's going to do for that program. Well, guys, we finally made it to March Madness. Except for Alabama fans, this year has a little different, a little bit of a different feel. To a lot of us, it's not quite what we expected. So, to lead off, what are your immediate thoughts going into the tournament? I'll start with you, Grizzo. For us, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, man, just just show up. I mean, I don't, you know, being alone, you know, loving, loving the university, loving the team, hoping for the best. Just wanted to show up one time, man. But we haven't had a complete game the whole season, I guess. We can. Yeah. And I, I would hope, you know, given neutral floor, you know, no crowd advantage by anybody, that they are just whatever the hangup has been. Let it go and just just play ball. Hopefully, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Erwin, what are your thoughts? I mean, the same. Uh, you know, just want the guys to play, um, play the way they've been playing, uh, better than they've been playing. Um, the one thing that sticks out, uh, you know, just really want the guys to, I mean, rebound the ball, rebound the ball well. Um, I think that you know if they mm -hmm. rebound the ball well, I think that that'll help. Help us and you know help us through a lot of these games because I, I mean I saw a stat the other day I think we're like we're like the like second we're like we we, we let we um we allow like 12, 12 rebounds a game or twelve point seven rebounds a game or something like that or whatever more and we're like second and like second in, in, in the major conferences or whatever and so that being said we have to rebound and then like you said we have to take care of the ball better like we turn the ball over too much um if you want to be a a tournament, you know, a team that can win the tournament, you can't, you can't have that many turnover. I mean, and over the last few games, it's been really, really consistent with a high number of turnovers. So, in order for us to be able to do anything, no matter who we play, we can play Rutgers, we can play whoever, um, or Notre Dame, it don't matter. But if we don't take care of the basketball, rebound the basketball, then you're not gonna have much success. Kendy, that leaves you. You and I have talked a lot throughout the season, and <laughs> we've definitely voiced our opinions. Going in, are you confident or how are you feeling? Uh, honestly, uh, I don't want to, I want to be the uh, bad, bad news, but <laughs> no, hey, all hey, speak the hey, truth, speak the truth, bro. Man, I got right. yeah, man. Yeah, I don't really feel good going into it for the simple fact of uh, you know, all this done play, play ball at a, at a high level, and we know uh, <clears throat> momentum is a lot. You know, and last year, the difference between last year's team and this year's team, around this time, they was playing the best basketball of the season, you know, coming mm -hmm. off of winning the SEC, and they had a lot of momentum going into that tournament. You got to have it. You can't go into the tournament playing your worst right now. You know what I mean? It's like 
they still trying to figure things out that they should have figured out back in December, you know, yeah. and they're going to have yeah. to have, you know, a couple guys that at least two or three of them step up and do a whole lot more than what they've been doing. You know, yep. you, you just can't go in depending on Shagaford and uh, Quinn and Lee and, and, you know, a couple, well, one or two more guys. Like, this team going to have to have eight or nine players, like, step up and give them some big-time contribution. But they don't have yeah, a hurt right. on the <laughs> team no more, you know. So, you know, it is – right now, they, you know, and then I think mentally, man, they they – they look lost out there, man. They, yeah. they, they like trying to find themselves. They, they looking at each other. They looking at the coaches. They, it's like they, 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 they searching for something. And, you know, hopefully, um, you know, I guess they had about a week of practice. You know, hopefully they had the best week of practice they done had all year to get them, you know, get them back focused going to that tournament. Cause you're playing against, now you're playing against teams that, you know, it's, it's a little, it's a little advantage and it's a little disadvantage on both sides. Cause, you're playing against teams that don't really know you, you know, and you don't know them. So you're going to be able to get a lot off, you know, that you couldn't get off in the conference play. So, yeah. you know, they, they can, you know, they, they had enough talent to, to win some games, but it's just like, like, like other, uh, Irwin and Raw said, uh, they just going to have to bring it, man. It's time. It's, it's, it's time off of excuses and point fingers and who's going to do this and that. Everybody's going to have to step up on the team. Yep. I, I go back to what, I go back to what Dutton mentioned about turnovers, and that's that's the most frustrating thing because I go back to the Kentucky game and the LSU game. They were running Kentucky out of Rupp Arena. I think Keon Ellis was, like, wetting it up from three, and then all of a sudden just bad passes. Like, you don't have eyes in the back of your head, son. Why are you trying to thread the needle? Like, like it was crazy. I'm like, you don't have eyes in the back of your head. Why are you trying to thread the ball to, you know, between three defenders to a, a player on, on the court? You, you don't do that. Like, you got to protect the basketball. There, there was a lot of bad passes, especially against LSU. What was it, like 20 turnovers? Like, 20, 15 of them were off bad passes. That's yeah. got to be stopped. Like, that, that's that got to be cut down. The, the but, one thing that I think, though, going back to what you said, the Kentucky game, I think that – now, we was playing well that game, but the one thing I think that, that changed the momentum of that game is when we picked up that technical foul. Um, and I oh, think yeah, the, yeah. The, the momentum swung everything, and then after that, it was just, just you know, Kentucky, it just went on that run, and nothing we can do about it. And that's what's got me a lot this year is the fact that we're averaging 20-plus turnovers a game. We're not really be, being aggressive, especially on the inside. And, and Kennedy, you, you and I talked about this. Whenever we'll go on a run, it's like the team has no idea how to stop the bleeding, so we just bleed out and we just look lost. Uh, at this point in the season, I, I get we do have some young guys, but shouldn't these things have been corrected by now? I think uh, – I think I, – I think to be honest with you guys, I think this is a – that's a gift and curse to uh, Coach Oates' system. You have so much freedom to the point you can abuse that freedom. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, the way you know they get up and down and shoot shoot more threes than twos, you know, just f- trying to fast break every play. There's really no, there's no distance, there's no in between with them. It's either you know they hundred miles an hour. There's no it, or is they can't really play half court at all. They struggle a lot in the half court too. They so, do. like I said, in the Kentucky game. There's no way you don't win that they start the greater of a start they had. Yeah. There's mm-hmm. no way you just yeah. let a team like that back in the game. And it's it's sad to say they don't really have that player or players that can I right, the team on a 10 0 run. Let's get to the line and, and, and slow this game down and get some free throws and stop the bleed. It's kind of they just go with what you know <laughs> what what got them. They just keep going. And you know, you know, the coach tried to call time out and stuff like that, but he can only do so much. He ain't playing, you know. Oh yeah. So it is. It's kind of like that freedom. That freedom. That ultimate freedom catching up with him. And I feel like that's. I feel like that's why you miss Herb Jones so yeah. much from last year. You miss Herb from last year. You miss Patty from last year. You miss Alex Reese from last year because those guys could kind of sense it and be able to slow it down. Mm-hmm. Herb could kind of slow the ball down, attack the basket, get to the free throw line. 
Patty could put the ball on the floor. Alex Reese, in an underrated way, could put the ball on the floor. It just feels like with these guys, with the exception of maybe Quinterly and Keon Ellis, when he chooses to, it's like, if you tell me to put the ball on the floor, it's like you're trying to cuss me out or something. No, nah, man, put the ball on the floor and attack the body. Create some type of something. And one of the biggest things that is missing from guys like Herb and John Petty is leadership. That's one of the biggest differences between this last year's team and now this year's team. And like uh, you mentioned before, th- there's a lot of looking around. You're looking over to the bench at the coaches. What do I do? Looking around at your teammates. Well, what do I do? Are, are you stepping up this game? Are you stepping up this game? When watching you guys, there was never that looking around. You always knew who was going to step up. And if somebody had an off game, then someone else stepped up and did their thing. There was no guesswork at all. I just feel like that's just a major component right now that's going to hurt us if we don't get that taken care of. I think really the difference between Oak system and kind of what we went through in our guy for years not saying that he doesn't have a system. Of course, he has a format, an analytical format, which all of us are kind of getting used to, still getting used to. But with us, we actually had different ways of where our players were set to where I'm up and down. So I, if I didn't have it, it was directly to go on the earth that. And if he didn't get it, it was a third part to that. And that was just the system and where it went. But when you have a free-flowing offense the way Oates has, it's the first person that's open. He can shoot it, whether shot for the made five out of seven. Then you might have no one shot the last three, where Shaq then made his last three. Why they ain't focusing on him or that person at that time, get him the ball, keeping him consistent. It's so many other people shoot the ball, throwing the guy that's on rhythm, off rhythm. And then we come down that we're turning the ball over. And then we may come back down and Kim might shoot the next two. Shaq ain't had the ball in the last sessions. Then he do touch it. It's an air ball. And then we at home going crazy. Like, you know, like, like what's going on? But it's, 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 it's a madness to it. But I had said a long time ago, I tweeted a while ago that it has to be a point where it gets structured. Rojas don't get those trail threes. Jawan Gary don't get those threes. Like, okay, you open, but sometimes you open for a reason. We always say that. You open for a reason. Yeah. But with us, he teach them or he tell them to shoot the wide open jump. And they shoot it, whether it's with confidence or just because they hear him from the bench shoot it. Numbers-wise, some of them shouldn't be shooting it. But it's been happening, and, you know, we to this point. But we just have to get kind of get used to O's philosophy on the offense. Defensive wise, you know, you can't blame him for that because you gotta bring your own heart on the defensive yeah, end. That's true. You know, yeah. Coach might be like, go zone. You know, we get together, like, hey, we going, man, we ain't playing that zone. That's too soft. That that defensive part is solely on them. But on the offense, you should be like, hey, recognize who on and, and feed them till it's over. Yeah. And and that and that's the part right there, Rod, going back to Kentucky. Cause like I said. Keon was hot that first half. I think Keon was like five of seven or six of seven from three. And then it was like four straight possessions. Keon didn't get the ball. I'm like, right. what in the world going on? The man on. Like, he was shooting the eyeballs out of Calipari. Yeah. What's going it's just, on? It's just, it's just too open and, and too much too much of a free flow offense with not too many rules predicated on you can't do this at this position. Get to your spot. You get to your spot, you, you can do X, Y, Z, but everybody's free frame the shooter from 30 on in. So it'll end up in chaos. We got a question from an audience or a statement of the audience uh, regarding J.D. Davison. Uh, says, J.D. seems like maybe he's a year behind what we all expected. I think no one came into this season with more hype and more expectation you know, than, than J.D. And I think we were a little spoiled from previous years to, to seeing what Colin Sexton did. But how do you feel like he's adjusted to the game? Uh, Rod, you mentioned recently on, uh, on another podcast about how you felt like maybe J.D. is playing out of position. Can you kind of lead off of that? Yeah, I mean, J.D. is a scorer. He's not a point guard. I mean, he was a point guard by default in high school because if you look at his high school team, he was really probably the only one that could really handle the ball or set them up to get anything. I know on some of the 
Pro Circus, the Iverson game, and maybe McDonald's game probably play a point. But, you know, those all-star games really don't matter. But in this situation, for what we have, he shouldn't be trying to play point. JQ either. But mm. that's what we have. They, they both are scores, like natural scores. They're not natural. I'm looking to set you up, get you a bucket, and I'm going to get mine. No, they're going to get a bucket first. And right now, all year, they've been doing the opposite, trying to set other guys up to score turning the ball over, trying to force it to those guys because that's what the play is supposed to be. That's what the scheme is supposed to be. When naturally they think and get buckets, hopefully they flip the switch <clears throat> when they need the next few days and be like, hey, you know, the light's the brightest during the tournament. Y'all trying to go to the next level or improve your doc, doc, drop strap or whatever, hey, get shots up. I mean, it's a free flow offense anyway, so <laughs> what's going to be the negative side? <laughs> yeah, that's the um... – yeah, they 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 are uh, they don't use uh, JD like they did Sexton. Uh, Sexton, you know, he was somewhat playing point, but like like Ross said, like Coach uh, Coach uh, Avery Johnson was was like players was ran for him, like he was in the yeah he showcased position. him because he knew he was so, one right. of them. Hey, look, but look, he, he was he was in position to do what he did, you know, and he did it. But first, you got to be put in position. I think. JD plays uh he thinks a lot out there like he trying to he he playing not to me he plays not to come out the game like he plays not to mess up like yeah he get one turn on he, he need to look at the bench to see if somebody finna sub him out and we mm. all know you can't play like that man like you right. you have the player you are if you don't have the confidence that you, that you had you know you can't play like that and when he you know when he get it going he feel good we, we see flashes of what he can do but I, I I said I said it to a lot of my friends here. He way underused. Like, like I said, he's not a point guard. Why he out there trying to create for other? But really, they don't have a true point guard. That's really they problem on the team. Like they don't have yeah. a true point. They have yeah, a score and they're trying to play point guard. So it is is you know I guess that's what his system requires. But it's gonna be hard to to win like that, like to go deep like that because you don't have that guy that can sell the team down. Everything like like they can be like like I say they can be on a a, a zero to ten run. The other team on a 10-0 run, they'll still come down to jack of three. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it, it's hard to explain, but that, that's kind of what's going on right now. Hey, the only thing I add to that is, you know, I had this same argument slash conversation with a guy. Uh, you know, it was the whole thing of you know, they was talking about JD or whatever, and I was like, look. They're trying to he's trying to compare JD to Colin Sex. It ain't even it ain't even no comparison, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like Colin Sexton was was he was like cut above everybody. Like Colin Sexton, yeah. we walk into we walk into the gym. I mean, he knew that he was the best player. Like regardless or whatever, it didn't matter. Like it didn't matter what team that, that he was on, like he always felt like he was the best. And he was a he was a, a ball dominant guard. So even if they didn't even if they ran plays or they didn't run plays for him, he had enough basketball IQ, he had worked on his game enough as to where he can come in, he can he can break a set and take over and do some thing because he was that gifted, he was that strong that he could do stuff like that. And you know what I'm saying? So the comparison is like the comparison really ain't even you know that it ain't even there. Like like honestly like Colin is a Colin ain't a point. He's a he's a two. But again, he has that type of his basketball IQ is a little bit is was a little bit higher than him. You know what I'm saying? Coming in and he just had that mentality like I'm the man when he when he walked in when he walked in the gym on the court, and so that's I think that's the biggest difference. Yeah, I think I think JD two just to add this. I think JD two was a little underprepared for major D- division one college. You know he had that hype from the AAU circuit, but we all know AAU is AAU is an organized yeah. game. Yeah. So you you're not really you know getting challenged mentally. You know you getting whoever can jump the highs and run the fastest and got a little skill. They will look good in AAU. So then you playing in Greenville, you playing in, in you know where you playing and you ain't playing nobody. So now you're going to play all these guys that's older than you, stronger than you, jump just as high as you, smarter than you. Mentally sharper. Yeah, yeah, smarter than you. Yeah. Know yeah. all the ins and outs, the tricks of the trade, and he trying to find his way. Like six Sixty had that dog in him already. Like he felt yeah. like JD don't feel like he the best player on the court. You can just tell how he carry so he don't come in the game feeling like I'm finna go take over this game. Like he don't, he don't even have that type of swag about. It. And you know he just kind of off of potential right now. Well, he can be, but yeah. you know you got to show that. You got to show it. You, know, you just can't be potential. 
to piggyback off that for each of you guys, how was that y'all's adjustment to the game coming in as freshmen? Was it easy, smooth, or was it kind of a uh, a rough go at first? How was it for you guys? Shit, we, we, hey, we was we was allowed yeah. to make mistakes. But <laughs> well, I really quit. <laughs> hey, 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 I heard Rob well, was too. <laughs> like, we were just throwing out there and told, hey, we, hey, go ahead, go get it. I mean, we, we, we had four freshmen in the junior college transfer. How you think we did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The SEC was a fool last like, freshman year. Everybody was shit. Everybody was good. There were no no off nights. Yeah. <laughs> Right, I said, well, no, I'm nice. I, I, I tell you, all the y'all, see, y'all came in. Oh, y'all was the good. I, I think I had the hardest between you. Know, I think Irwin and Mo and Kid I, and T. Me, all them was singers. Yeah, was wrong, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Them. yeah. And yeah. I remember when I get the T. Me, you know, I come in with all the hype and this, that, and the third. And you know, T. Me was also just like, hey, bro, you're not just gonna come take my position. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, you better work. Like, you're not just gonna come here and just, I'm just gonna lay down, you know? And man, I'm mean, all summer, the first, and up until the first month of practice, man, T. Me just beat me down every day. Like, he was stronger, he was smarter. You know how strong he was? He was yeah. the strongest yeah. dude on the team. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, of course, I was tall and more athletic, but exactly. he knew, he just knew basketball. Like he knew, yeah. It took me a while to figure that out. Like, man, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta put some extra work in that weight room because <laughs> all the moves y'all working against, I one working. <laughs> like, but then when I, if I do beat him, I got Earl with the chin. I gotta try to finish over. Like, that's it. <laughs> it was hard, man. It was hard. <laughs> hey, at Rod, I heard you had a hard time with the conditioning at first. Oh yeah, that's shit. Oh yeah, you know. <laughs> no, yeah, that's always. Everybody, everybody, everybody heard that story. I don't, I don't think I who you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Coming out of house, you, know, you, 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 you you ain't got that kind of program that you know weight and conditioning for like. I don't care what high school you went to, you ain't got nothing that's that true. can prepare you for college. You like you right. got literally the only way you can be prepared. You got to have like a a real personal trainer that's. Getting you like six in the morning, you you can't come for you ain't come for no program in high school. Well, you gotta have a college athlete in your house that's that's actually right. going through yeah. yeah. high school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to step back to Birmingham in two months. Yeah, shit. Yeah, I know. I know. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Erwin, we got a statement from the audience directed towards you from El Mejor Barbero. I played Dudley twice a year for four years in high school. If you wasn't coming to 90 points, you didn't have a chance to win. They, they ran that rabbit to perfection. Hey, man, honestly, I, I kid you not. People might think, like, we didn't, we didn't have any, like, we didn't have any, any set plays or anything in high school. Like, honestly, like, we just went out there and played basketball. Like, I mean, we played, um, we played basketball year-round. So, so the gym never closed for us, even summertime. I mean, we played basketball all the time. So, um, and that's what it was. Like, we never had anything. We were just really like running gun. And, you know, you just kind of, uh, you know, feeding off your teammates and, you know, and, and being able to play. Miss a shot. You had guys to go and get the rebound and stuff. And you, you just played hard. And so we had a, we had a, we had and still have a rich basketball tradition in my high school. And so it was just something that, you know what I'm saying? You just could kind of grow the custom to it, you know, growing growing who to love. No, oh, Erwin said they, they didn't run no set play. See, when I play, they ran one play. Give the ball to Jughead. Well, we got to call the Jughead in time, man. Eh? I want to shoot some. You know, you shoot that ball, get the Jughead. For real? Come on, man. Another comment from the audience. Colin didn't have a ball dominant guard coming in. JD has too many people patting the rock. It limits him. He's a rare talent, nevertheless. I mean, he got some. He got some guys. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I mean that goes to show. Same with the free flow offense. Everybody gets a chance to do whatever. But when JD's out there, he does have it. That's how he has the turnovers he has because he has the ball. <laughs> so, yeah, the other guys kind of yeah. go off the ball to be honest he played point yeah. guard like Quindlin and Shackleford go to the wing so to speak so I don't really so get that Keon Evans, go, Keon Evans going straight to that corner three <laughs> so I'm he taking made, JD should have had the ball or something I, I'll take I'll take I'll take Keon shooting that between Keon Shaq 
J. Cool, when he get his feet set, if he get his feet set, he'll he'll knock it down. Mm. But if they ever they ever come to a point to where they just minimize and focus on who's shooting what at a decent percentage going forward, things will kind of change. But like Ken said, given the fact that you got a chance to play a team that never seen you before, they just see you on film and kind of try to reciprocate that in their own practices, you may get a chance to get away with some easy stuff, easy things live. Yeah. And if we do advance, of course, you know you'll play better talent mm -hmm. and they'll scheme a little better. But hopefully if we do get in, get early and get a little confidence, we'll get on the road. Because right now we're like a three-game losing streak or something like that. Yeah, oh, three game losing streak. Last time we won was when you guys were there. I don't even want to talk about it. Shit, you got to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. You got to talk about it. Well, you got to think gotcha. about it. That's huge going in. I mean, guys, what kind of mentality does it take going into the NCAA tournament? I mean, the thing for them, they were already in it for like months, kind of. So it's kind of like we win, we lose, we still in the tournament. We lose, we still in. Do you think that kind of the other team played? They were, you know, winning their conference, or they were second. So it was kind of like no push. We didn't have to yeah. play to get in it. We were already in it. So kind of like, all right, we lost. Whatever, on to the next one. Okay, we lost again. On the next one. It wasn't like when we lost, we going home. We were going to the SEC tournament, and then we were going to the NCAA tournament, regardless. Yeah. So there's like, no, no sense. Of, yeah, there's no sense of urgency. Yeah. For them. That's, That's why they look so emotionless. Right. Yeah. right. And and NATO's addressed, addressed that today. He said, uh, if you lose now, it's done. There's no other game. So if you don't, if you can't get locked in at this point, I don't know what would it take to get you locked in. Guys, if, if we're locked in, how far do we go? Hey, just, hey. Shit, my really, daughter I mean, did her practice. Hey, she hey, got hey, to play in the national championship game. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you say what now? My daughter Wait, did what? the bracket. She got us playing Colgate in the national championship game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Edie. Yeah, we we uh, beat Colgate I mean, by nine. <laughs> I mean, you know, they, they, they show flashes, you know what I mean? Like, hold on. If you, hold on, Rod. Rod. Yeah. If your baby, if, if your baby win the money, go and drop me a stack. <laughs> go and drop me a stack. She win the money is up. Hey, 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 Ryan, I got a good feeling about this one, though. I got a, I got a yeah. good feeling about the prediction. <laughs> hey, I mean, but, honestly, but, I think we'll get we'll get the first one. We'll we'll get either Notre Dame or Rutgers. I mean, after that, I don't know. We, we'll come back and do another show after that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, 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 I mean, if you watch, if you watch them play, I mean, you watch them like, for example, Gonzaga, right? You watch them. There, I'll use that that as an example because they're number one seed, whatever, whatever. I mean, if you look at them playing, then, I mean, tell me that they ain't like one of the top teams in the country. So, so, just so happened, you know, the tournament time, you know, we catch on if we catch fire. I mean, hey. We could we could possibly make it to the final four. We have a team like that, but I know we have a lot of stuff that we got to clean up. But again, in the tournament, it's not. It's all about who can catch fire at, at that certain point in time. It's not. You know, I understand you have all the other stuff that goes on during the season, but it's all about that team that 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 catches fire at the right time. And you see it all the time when you have teams that smaller teams that you don't you don't think or expect. That can win and they come in and win. Just look at just look at Texas A and M. Just look at what they did. I mean, nobody thought that they was gonna come in and this is a tournment and make it they to the final the day. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And they, and they got snubbed from the tournament, but yeah, again, nobody thought that they would have did that what they did in the SEC. And you know, but they they made it to the final day. And so you, you catch a team like that. I mean, we can be. Yeah. Over, we, I mean, we can make a run. Like I said, it's a big if, but it's possible. Like bowling, like how's this how does this kind of equate to like football, you know, getting hot at the right time in football? Yeah, man, like I know that basketball, I know they probably play uh ten times more game than you know in football. So like 
we always, you know, it's so many guys on the team and uh, like so many guys want to play. And, you know, like Coach Saban always will big on, you know, being able to trust you off the field. You know what I mean? And if he can trust you off the field, then he can trust you on the field. And what I mean by off the field, like, you know, going to class and being there on time, going to study hall and being there on time, being where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, mm-hmm serious so you know when we come in in the summertime we try to feed this into the guys like this is the standard like this is this expectation like this is what we have to do to win and we always like built it as climbing this mountain and for the tournament and the SEC championship game like Coach Saban say when uh, whoever had the hot hand that's who we gonna get the ball to and go back to what Rod was saying, like, Buddy may hit three shots in a row, and then he don't see the ball for eight possession. Now he off. Kills but, it. Like in football, um, when OJ in the national championship game, when he had the hot hand, they yes, gave him. You fed it to him. Yeah. yeah. You know, like when I was in, um, started started off the LSU game from there. And, you know, Coach, they just kept giving it to me. And then yeah. I was progressing more and more. And he was like, oh, both had a hot hand, so this is who we gonna feed. You know what I mean? And the team was all good with that because we had one mindset: we just want to win. You know what I mean? No mm-hmm. matter what so, it, you know what I'm saying. Even if he running out there and giving Damian or you know whoever some water, if that what it took to win, then that's what we did. Yeah, because we had well, everybody. It, that be, it could be two different things thinking about it though. Just in the culture of the football team. Y'all already keyed it from day one. Y'all got on campus in June. This how we rock. If you can't rock like this, you're gonna be, be over there. Yeah, because we you, down. yeah, if you did it, you can see like you was the odd uh, ball. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when I yeah. first got there, like I was fucking up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it is natural. You know, you come straight out of high school. Oh yeah, high yeah. School that everybody been telling you know you about. And then when you forget that you ain't on track until like you know what I'm saying Coach Saban you know, you had that third me when you like hell yeah man, I gotta get my shit together you know what I'm saying <laughs> like <laughs> you know what I'm saying like when you you know it's 124 120 some people on the team and then you know on, on Tuesday you know then when you know you you got that me with Coach Saban and it's on the four y'all you like damn. <laughs> Room got small. We the only, like we the only <laughs> four that fucking up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, I built all the way up to being a leader on the leadership team. Like one of the, I was the leader of the leadership team. You know, and you know what I'm saying? Cause Coach Saban had built that trust, and I like I regained my trust in him because I was a guy that always went to class and never was late. Like my entire time in Alabama, I miss. I missed three classes and just and that was only because I had surgery. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, that was what's up. That's pretty dope. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, like I used to, you know, when I was on the leadership team, like I used to tell the freshmen, like, you go to class for eight hours a day in high school. You got two to three classes, maybe what, four classes a day? Maybe, mm-hmm. yeah. Between you know, yeah. Yeah. Like you may have two classes, 50 minutes on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You just came from high school going to school for eight hours. You can't do, you know what I'm saying? Two 50 minute classes. You can't be there yeah. on time. <laughs> you went to, you got to be at school at eight in high school. So you were getting up at six o'clock, six thirty. You know what I mean? You got class at 10. You can get up at 9 30. You right there on campus. Yeah, you ain't you yeah. got to wash your face and brush your teeth and go in there for 50 minutes. They may let you go. Man, in. Man, you don't even got to wash your face and brush <laughs> yeah. your teeth. Just walk yeah, up in. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you got to wash your like, face. He ain't want to. You got to do that. <laughs> 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 We know no, I did that. that. I did wash my face yeah, and brush my teeth. Yeah, you know how you went to class. class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right hey, hey, I washed my face though. Yeah, but that's ain't though. Like developing that culture though. I know we got a. A WhatsApp alumni chat where we get in and we basically kind of vent to each other about how this whole season is going on. <laughs> and uh we had been in talks about trying to trying to develop that, trying to start that or some course because you know guys who come in with a 
false sense of security about college basketball or what they think they're going to do. And even while they're there, have a false sense of, oh, I'm ready to go pro. But you got a whole group of guys that's been there with that uniform on, standing in that same position, who done did it, and can look on the other side and be like, yay or nay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And we're trying to find a way to build that just to get guys that do come in to trust, you know, what we say as former athletes, former pros versus, you know, you get tired sometimes all over here what your coach say. Coach yeah. did, coach said, yeah. did, coach said. Just to kind of hear from somebody on the outside who actually did it, we may even agree on some of the things that, that coach may be telling them because we'll never know what coach is saying because we're not going to practice. I mean, Irma might get a chance to go, but we're not, not fully in practice like that. We're not fully engaged in the whole yeah. talk what's going on. We just kind of see. That's, it. that's what I was just about to ask. Like I was about to ask, like how many, how many of uh, y'all um, always go back? So I'm here. I'm we go back to games, but I've never been to practice. Yeah. So I'm, I'm See, in, like, I'm in we, we always had guys like at practice, you know what I mean? They'll come in and, you know, speak and let us know, like, what they were built from, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think yeah. that's a big part on our basketball team, too, because we don't have the mold Williams, you know, like being around campus, you know, all the time, like, like we do in the off season, we always we always back there training. You know what I'm saying? We may go in, you know, sit in the meet with them and let them know like this is what they're gonna take and you know speak to them in in a team meeting. And we always had like guys come back through there, like Julio and them came back when I was there. You know what I'm saying? Dante and all them boys. So you know that kind of motivated us to you know. Buy into the process, you know what I mean? Like, buy into the system. This is what it's going to take for us to win. Yeah. You know, it was – and, you know, we watched it, you know. uh Like, when Julio and them were there, you can tell, like, they had that mentality. Like, I don't want to play against them guys. I don't want to play with them, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so well, I shit, think – It give you a motivation. You sitting there watching videos, then that actual person walk in the room, you'd be like, oh, shit. Like, okay, look. Like, what you did? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah. Hey, man, so, but I think – I mean, I'm I'm here. I'm yeah, here in Tulsa. Oh, for real? For real? I, yeah, but I think a lot of it, too, though, man, like, with, with you know, basketball, though, I really think it's just um, the turnover, yeah, you know, the turnover in coaching yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I think you know what I'm saying. It, it, you know, it's a it's a little disconnect there because I mean, if you think about it, over the last you know what I'm saying, 12, 13, 14 years or whatever like that, we didn't had you know what I'm saying. We didn't have four coaches. Four coaches. Yeah, yeah. and, and Coach Dave and been there for 13, 14. Yeah, and Coach, yeah, he's been yeah. there for a minute. Yeah. So, so all those guys are like under his, you know, on his, you know, his coaching gear on him or whatever, right? But still, at the same time, whatever, and, you know, they're they're coming back, blah blah. But he has something established, so I don't think that when, whenever he's whenever Coach Saban is done, I don't think that that you know that's gonna stop. That's gonna stop. I think it'll continue to go on because you know, what I'm saying they, he's put play people in place to see, okay, this right here is part of part of our success, mm -hmm. and so it'll keep it'll it'll keep keep you know what I'm saying revolving, revolving doors. It'll, it'll keep coming in and out because. I mean, he's put, he's implemented that or whatever. I mean, people gonna buy into it, but they say, "Oh, he's go saving." You know what I'm saying? Like, who wouldn't buy into that? Right. So, so it, it, that's that. I think that's one of the biggest differences, though. So, what you think? So, uh, this of course for all three of y'all. So, what do what do you think about the teams that Cole Grant had have and, and and we didn't have no success? He basically Man, honestly, brainwashed them boy. Oh wow! Cause, cause you said what now? But, <laughs> I mean, I, I talk, I talk to Levi, I talk to Levi and Cooper about that all the time. Cause yeah, like we they, we had a great team. I was just asking, you know, what do you think about Coach Grant and the team that he had that we should have been at least one? I think that team should at least won one championship. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I agree with that. That was on there. Kenny shaking his head. Kennedy shaking his head. You said no. <laughs> they have no talent to win a championship. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you said that hell was pretty good, man. I mean, no if, way, if you think about it, Le Levi, Levi could score. <laughs> yeah. Coop was cool, but they came in and didn't get a chance to do any of what they did in high school. To win the championship? Let them now, did, look he the have, did he have green them also? Jamaica Green. Yeah, yeah, Jamaica, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bo, oh, no, no, yeah, no, 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 no. yeah. Bo, look, look, Brandon Hollis. What they, you, no, Bo looking at what they went on to do. 
not what they was currently doing. Because <laughs> because Green went to the league and did well, that don't mean he probably did that. There's still no, a league. I mean, no, no, no. Green but, and, you know, and uh, but, uh, Randolph. But, no, but Mark, he played good, though. Like, you know, y'all knew, too, you know what I'm saying? Ducking them, you know what I mean? So... I thought that was should have had a better career no, Bama no, King. Okay, I ain't okay, 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 about it. career, you know So I, I was thinking we got the I always had the best team, so I was just wondering what it was. Because <laughs> they, you know, I mean, I, 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 hey, Mike, yeah. Michael, he was, he, I mean, he was dominant. He was dominant in college either. I mean, I'm dominant in college also. I just think that what happened was, man, like if you don't, if you don't, the team is not overall successful, then. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know, you ain't looked upon or whatever. Yeah, but, Cole Grant had them boys scared to shoot a jump shot. Yeah, they was, they was still <laughs> on defense. You know what's crazy? What's the name left? Oh, you know, McKay, the point guard, McKay Torrance, that's from now. You know me? Yeah. yeah. He loved girl. Yeah. Man, Trevor you know, Redler putting them out on boy, man. Yeah. He, 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 he Trevor Lacey. Trevor Lacey, yeah. yeah Trevor Lacey went to North Carolina State. We he gave up 50 points on D and averaged 48 on North I was trying to figure out what ran Trevor Lacey off. Mm. Mm. That's well, another Mark story. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's another story uh, right I, there. I, look, 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 all I remember, they used to bring Robin Norris <laughs> off the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, Robin off the bench, man. Robin, Robin was good for two threes a game. <laughs> hey. And two charges. Hey. And two charges. <laughs> Crimson Tide Beast uh, says Grant had defense but was stale on offense. Uh, I had to agree with that. Yeah. Now, that, hey, was kind, that was kind of Avery t- problem too, though. I think it was 20, them 20 nah, suicides. See, 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 nah, see, see, Avery deal. Avery came in because I was because I remember Avery's press conference. He came in saying, We're going to have bad with the next Duke, the next Carolina. The next yeah, Michigan State, that, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> they, but you can't, you can't play the, in the, today's game. You can't play the game in the fifties and sixties. That's just there's, there's no way. Well, yeah, the games exactly. ain't played that way no more. Like they, if you look at they average, I, I, I know they probably average more than 60, 65 points a game. Right? Yeah. The, obviously, the, the Cully game was a lot different than the pro game. I think he came in mm-hmm. thinking it was a step down, and he was just gonna run through it. Right. And he yeah. actually he actually had to coach when he was here versus mm. you know in the league they just yeah, plug right. and play. Plug. Yeah, that's true. Right. Yeah. They had to coach and teach and develop and he wasn't with that. Yeah. yeah. That's why Tyler got a lot of the run he did because he was the only his, one he could get the ball to him, like go ahead, get it done. Play. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. His son, his son came too. over too. I thought <laughs> he was gonna be worth it. <laughs> 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 a little Avery Junior. And I tell you, wasn't that bad, man? Everybody treated man, like West cut it out, wasn't man. that bad? He was, I thought he was a good player. I, I, I liked his man, game. Man, that man, that man, that man, the one that coached you when he been to Alabama, man. Cut Thank you, man. That was terrible, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Avery. You play that. Avery doing March Madness right now. Yeah, he is. Down the street. And I ain't know Johnny Jones is at Texas Southern. Yeah, he been there for yeah, he been there for years. He been there since Cole yeah, Davis. Yeah. They call with y'all, then you know. Then he call with y'all. Yeah, yeah. He been there since Mike Davis went to Detroit. Yeah. This is the main reason you got Kennedy on the show. Kennedy is not going to be politically correct. Yeah, exactly. That's my that's my guy right there. One, one, one question. What about my, what about my guy, um, uh, Antoine Petway? Man, he's a baller. Yeah, yeah you know that was a dog. Yeah, he was. Yeah, you know them my folk. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know you. Hey, I know you from down there, in Green. You down in Utah, Green County. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I know where you from. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah, pet, hey. man. I love, I do, I love I, I, all you gotta pet, do is man. pet shoes, boy. Just look them at shoes, shoes, man. They're, they're magic. You know what I'm yeah, I love, I Did love it to Florida pet, twice. That one, that one dude, man, pet, per, pet on, earned his way the whole time, man. He, yes, sir. Somebody gave yeah. him that, man. He hardest working guy in the game. Man. Like he earned his way, man. Yeah, yeah, I, I love playing with him, man. I had some of my best memories with him. Hey, so in I, your, yeah. so in your minds, who, who needs to be that guy or guys in order for us to have any kind of success in the tournament? I start with you, Kennedy, since you like to talk. <laughs> Oh, you guys stuck up. Hey, guys. 
I missed part of the question. I was saying in your, your minds, who needs to be that guy, or maybe there's more than one guy, uh, in order for us to have any success in this tournament? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it's gonna. Yeah, it's gonna. It, it can't. It ain't the way they team may be one guy. They gonna need in order for them to to, to advance. They gonna have to make a lot of threes. That's just what it is. If yeah, they don't make a lot of threes. Three. They going home because they they not you know defense is high, but they don't have no inside game, and their team is they wins and losses. Look at the, the time they won. They shot the ball with. Time they lost. Yeah, how, they might how do start we know we don't have an inside game? game? We don't never attempt it. Do you feel like I mean, uh, we, we, we tipped a like, couple times this year? What? I mean, I, I watched like, uh, like I watched we, we watched the Kentucky post. game. Noah get two straight yeah, jump hook. But it was killing so we it. Go up well, seven. Real quick, let me let me. After that, wait, wait, I'm glad you said something about inside game. I was very upset with the boy from Greensboro. Who was that? Uh, I can't think of him. You you know who I'm talking about, Steven? Are you talking about Jimmy? Jimmy? The number. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> so, oh, Jimmy Hill. Huh? Oh, man. You say what? Ooh, Jimmy he was number 10. He was number 10. Number yeah, 10. Yeah. Me, I was very upset with Jimmy. What you want him to do? He did what he could. He blocked shots. He sent him. Hey, what do you mean? He wanted Jim, no- you talking about the freeze about the freshman? <laughs> you remember um, Slim, number 10. Left hand, Jimmy, blocked like shots, rebound, ran the floor. That was it. Uh, you ain't need nothing else. That shit, man. He's supposed to be mad max in the paint, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we Jimmy Taylor. Jimmy Taylor, man. Jimmy Taylor. 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 Jimmy he, he did what he could, bro. Like a bitch, five hundred pounds that ain't no good at football. Because <laughs> 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 you tall and can jump and run, that don't mean you no good basketball player. <laughs> no, he, uh, hey, uh, hey, he uh, said that. No, uh, I just thought that you he know. Did, yeah, he did some money. I mean, Rod said that, but I'm saying I thought he he was supposed to come to college and you know a dime. When I was on one time. Yeah, you know. He did what he could, bro. I, I didn't think he was yeah. supposed to come in and be like no first team all SEC. Oh, well, shit. The, the way that they were talking about him yeah. and coming out. You, were, you should. Wait a minute. Man, he from Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the I'm way that a, they I'm were a, talking a, about him coming out, man, you would have thought he was going for doing one year. Oh no, I ain't nobody on team. I must have been overseas or something. Like I don't, I don't remember no. Nah, you said his name. They his name. Yeah, I remember. Well, I, will. Him, I don't remember any lead up for him coming to Tuscaloosa. I don't remember any lead up saying he was Bruh. supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Was he the Mr. Basketball in Alabama? Anything? Uh, that what I would hear. Nah. That what I hear. Now that name, way, bro. Uh, German nah, name of ringing bell. I, I I will say this though. We gonna have to rebound during this tournament. We gonna have to no rebound. No I, I'm, I'm glad y'all we bringing up the the inside game, guys. How do you feel about Charles Bediaco? What are your first thoughts on him? You need to I play like he's sixteen. Oh, that's who I thought he was talking about. I, I, yeah, I he was talking about. nah. He didn't play like he's I mean, sixteen. He, he, he didn't get a bit stronger that's though. Kind of I don't like know them guys know. that's on the team right now. Oh, you get a bit stronger oh, oh, though. Oh, 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 no, it, it's gonna it's gonna take time, but but I think right now that high screen roll, he rolling down the middle, stop throwing it to him. He ain't caught it yet. Yeah, <laughs> wow. yeah. Who can, hold on, I, I I I was just about to ask that. Who can call in that set play? He don't even look for the ball. He he catch the lobs. JD will throw him a lob every now and again. Yeah. Okay, cool. But the one he rolling, just stop throwing it. He ain't caught it yet. Just quit. <laughs> Oh, I, I like number zero though, but they don't give no touches like that. He can that's Noah. That's, that's, that's Gurley. That's Gurley. Because yeah, the he way our offense right structure, he in between. He either in the paint or he had the three point line. It's like yeah, like but when he posts, he effective though. When he, when he, he like posts, I said like, at Kentucky, we had them four straight to put us up seven. Right. Then they just went away from. Them. They, they just went and away. Then we yep. end up down one at the half. We want to shoot nine threes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's, why, that's why I say in order they, they, they said they're going to be prepared uh, for making threes. Uh, they don't make no threes. 
they make three, they can go to the final four. If they don't make three, they gonna be but one. The, the only way that happens they for real, win. you 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 break it down to three or four people. Everybody else, Juwan Gary got to become the dog he was. Yeah, Rojas mm-hmm. got to become the dog he was. Yeah, yeah. Let Noah get everything from fifteen in. Right, Betiako, you get me three blocks. Yeah, we all right by eight yeah. rebounds. And everybody else just run. Look, and take care of the look, ball. look. Everybody else eat you a good meal and make every <laughs> three you can make. Because <laughs> <laughs> nah. if, if I see another, if I, if I see that situation, it's gonna be hard now. Because I was watching Shackleford. That boy couldn't buy a bucket the other day. I mean, he couldn't buy a bucket. It happens though. I ain't making three for two months. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but then no, you play Tennessee. Right, right. See, right. I'm going to tell him about that. I would have told him about that, Rod. I would have lied. And I'm like, damn, three. Everybody know that. Everybody know that. Like, he can shoot, bro. Ain't no in between with him. When they, when every time he drives, he fall down. Like he, But you he see, like, when when O's do interviews, he be like, he be saying it. Like, he asking us to tell them. Like, like yeah. he asking us to text him and be like, hey, will you tell him to stop shooting 30 footers or get a little closer? <laughs> no, you the coach. Take him out. Yeah. Send him get down. on Snapchat. Tell him. <laughs> Maybe if we do this, most coaches be like, I'm about to go in the locker room and such and such or, you know, kind of a, <laughs> so to speak. He ain't going to speak in general. It's going to be broad right then and there. Yeah. I'm about to do X, Y, Z. <laughs> well, as we get to close to the end of our show, guys, if you would give me your best tournament memory, I'll start with you, Irwin. <laughs> we can't hear you, bro. We can't hear you. Boy, that went mute. Two dollars. <laughs> oh, wait. That'd be that elite Look, run. For real, know. he worked. He worked on that Meek Mill album back there. I see. <laughs> he go, he yeah, goes right for Mick Mill. Look, he goes right for Mick Mill right now. Yeah. All right. Well, Kenny, if you would, man, go ahead. I know you got a lot of memories from that Elite Eight run. So, start us off. Um, shoot. That, yeah, that that that's definitely the most. Uh, yeah, I remember one because my freshman and, and uh, junior year, we went out the first game. So, uh, that one went much to remember on that one. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, that Elite Eight run, man. Uh, it started with Pitway hitting, you know, and I think he got overlooked a lot for what he did in that game. Pitway hit the game, oh, yeah. won that game. He, he hit the shot that put us ahead to get out of um, losing to Southern Illinois. And, uh, you know, we played Stanford in this game. You know, that game was – you know, especially to all of us because, you know, we went into that game and nobody in the world gave us a chance to win that game. You know, we play one game, we're going to be done. And, you know, and to come down, come back from down 20, you know, and win that game uh, was pretty was pretty special. And then we went and beat uh, uh, Syracuse, which they were defending champions. Uh, and then, uh, shoot, that was, you know, we beat them in Sweet 16 and, and then get to Elite Eight, you know, somewhere. You know, that's the first time Alabama ever made it that far. And uh, you know, it wasn't no shame in you know losing the UConn. <laughs> they, no, they, not at all. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they we lost to the champs. You know, what I mean, they yeah, were, yeah, they was they were they was they was tough, man. Like still can't they stand had, the Huskies. Man, they had twelve <laughs> lottery picks on that team. I got them winning one. I don't care. Still can't stand them Huskies. I got them winning one game in my bracket. <laughs> and it's crazy to think in the history of, of the basketball program we've had only one elite eight appearance i mean we had a team that had latrell speed rail robert ori james hollywood robinson and, and so and those dudes could ball Man, what did you do yeah, Shit, it just goes you show with some other dogs in the league back then too yeah right. that, that is true right yeah it's all that, that tournament like I say, it's one game situation. Like I was saying on another podcast, it ain't it ain't the best team. It's who best that that day. The best yeah. team don't always win. You got to be better that day. Mm-hmm. Hey man, you know? hey, th- think about how Chris Webber and the Fab Five still feel. Jeez, no way man. they supposed to lose on paper. No way they supposed to lose North Carolina. <laughs> no way. But one game is not a series like the NBA. You just got to discuss in the timeout whether you got them or not. 
<laughs> kind of like what JD did. Oh, was like, well, I thought he knew. No, you got to discuss it. You, you got four anyway. seconds on the clock. <laughs> mm. All right, Irvin, let's That's try you again, man. Not a point guard. A point guard would have looked at the clock. True. Yeah, Irv still out of the no audio. <laughs> Yeah, Irv hey, still working on that Mick Mill album. I right? he, he he on verse number three. <laughs> All right, Rod, what you got, man? Uh, I would say I mean nothing that I did because I had a terrible game that Florida Atlanta game, but Mo posted thirty three that game, which uh, that propelled us out of our first NCAA win, even though we lost the next couple of days to Kent State, but. That was a great memory, you know what I'm saying? Got a chance to travel with the guys and get out. The year before we went to the NIT and losing to Tulsa in the championship game, was kind of pissed by being in the NIT because of the record that we had the previous year. Yeah. You know, of course, that was the four out of quad, one, two, and three type action that got going on now. Got a little taste of the tournament, got in, and shit, got out quick. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, okay. that Florida performance by Mo was cool, man. Because I had like 33 against Tennessee a couple days before, and he come back and do the same thing. That was that beautiful, was cool. too. <laughs> somebody, okay, so can somebody explain? The next couple days we had to have. Can somebody explain the whole quad one, two, and three? Because I look at it, and sometimes I feel like I get it, and other times I'm like, what in the world is this? I think it's more or less by your top 25 ranking, okay. yeah. whether it's quad one or two. Quad three, of course, is a team that's probably 50 on down out of the top 25. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Quad two might be 25 to maybe, I don't know, it's 25 to 15, and 15 on up maybe quad one, I don't know. Because the thing about Texas a and Rutgers, I think, had six quad one wins. They, they were six and six in quad one games. Mm-hmm. And Texas a and only had four quad one wins. That's how Rutgers ended up getting in over Texas a and even though Texas a and had a better record and had a better tournament push in their conference. Uh, I think Irwin pay, uh, paid his minutes. So I hear his voice again. Irwin, <laughs> if, <you would. laughs> if you would, man, yeah, tell us a good tournament memory for you. Man, I had to completely get out of this thing and get back in. I don't know what was going on. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, Over there, act like an old man with technology, messing with me. Hey, he's man, on, he's on dial up. No, I don't know what's going on with this internet or whatever it is. But anyway, <laughs> my, my, I think my really my fondest memory is because you know you hear, um, you know, hear everybody talk about the uh, by getting into the tournament, making it to the tournament. That's like the the big shebang, and you know, for us to be able to 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 make it because I, you know, prior to us making it, it had it had been some years before we you know, before we had went to the tournament, so. For us to just get there and being able to experience it and um, being the first team on the uh, Coach Godfrey on his on his helm, being the first team that, that was able to go to the tournament, I think that right there was like the biggest the biggest for me, biggest thing for me, just being able to go to the tournament and, and being able to compete and you know, you know it was different, but I enjoyed it. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, before we close things down, let's go let's go around the room. Let me get your final four predictions. If y'all made out your brackets yet. Oh, shit. What I did, hold on. <laughs> Man, Who's the I most prepared even, in the group? I made mine out. Yeah, probably wrong. Yeah. I ain't did one. I, I guess on the fly. All right, Kenny, go ahead. Guess on the fly. I had we'll Gonzaga, on. Kentucky, Arizona, and Iowa. Okay, okay, I can see that. I'm Kennedy, go, I'm gonna go Gonzaga, <laughs> Auburn. What? How can that come out your mouth? Keep it in the state, man. Keep it in the state. Bo don't say that. Bo don't say that. What you gonna say? Hey man, somebody gotta stay a little longer, man. Out of the Alabama teams, man. I I got Jacksonville State knocking Auburn out. I'm just playing. (laughs) 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 Neutral court. Neutral court. You never know. Auburn too, man. Uh, You gotta give them their credit, man. Auburn too. I want to. I never will. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna say this: Y'all better watch St. Mary's. Boys, tough. They lose in the first yeah. game. <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> yeah, everybody talk about them, but oh, you know, we'll see. I like Kansas too. Kansas. Okay. Maybe um, 
St. Mary's might end up at UCLA take it, take it, But I wasn't really impressed with them on it. They, they got some issues, too. They don't shoot the ball that well. Uh, Gonzaga, Arizona, Kansas, Arbor. No more. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if they're in the same groups or what. So I, I, I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, Irwin, you said you uh, want, wanted us all to look out for yeah, Davis. Yeah, Arizona, the other day. Arbor, they on the same side. Yeah, I mean, I said I want oh, okay. y'all to look out for Davidson, but I ain't, I ain't got them winning going to the final four now. Oh yeah, I know that. Davidson <laughs> got a tough one. I don't who got Davidson St. Mary's in the final four. You said who Davidson got, got in the first game? The they got Michigan State. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they got a tough one on the first go round. I, I got mean, them they, not they, they, Michigan State though. I, 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 I mean, I'm just saying, I got them too. But my final, my final, uh, final four. I'm going Arizona, Kansas. I'm going to go with Kentucky and over there. I'm not even. I'm not thinking about Gonzaga. I'm going. Uh, I'm going on that Duke. side, you got Texas I'm going to go Duke. Texas. I'm going Duke. I like Texas Tech a lot. I like them a lot. Yeah, they play well. For shit. We went. We went a game. We got a uh, Texas Tech Nick. <laughs> oh, shit. No. Texas Tech with, name, Texas. with a Texas potential Duke. matchup with Duke. <laughs> I got Duke in my final four. Yeah, yeah, I got Duke in the final four. Yeah, yeah, I got Duke in the final four. We're going to do my final four rides. We'll take Auburn out then. Take Auburn yeah, out. Yeah, I'll take it. No, I'm going to take Gonzaga out. <laughs> All right, so here, so here, so here's my final four. It's a 5 4 ride. So out the West, I got Gonzaga out the West. I got Kentucky out the East. Out the South, give me Nova. I like Jay Wright. Give me Nova out the, out the South. Who you got okay. in like Arizona? Villanova? Yeah. Bro, you pay, apparently you ain't seen Arizona. Arizona is legit. I know Arizona legit. But Arizona every time legit. I get on hey, that bandwagon, hey, they piss me off. Hey, hey, I know Arizona legit, but I put the money on Jay Wright every time. <laughs> He got, they got some I, experience. I understand Villanova that. got some experience. You real passionate about that one. I can hear it. Conviction. All right, so, so, so that's, that's, that's Nova. And then out there Midwest. Oh, man. Kansas. Yeah, Kansas. Shit, I had Iowa doing something. <laughs> some reason, right. Some won't let me trust them for some reason. I don't, just I don't what, know. Just for a little drum. I mean, Luke Garza <laughs> gone. I like, I I like Iowa. They just won their conference championship. I said, so I don't trust them for some reason, man. Right I now, like the twins. The twins. Now, I got Gonzaga, Kentucky, and y'all y'all aren't ready for this. Tennessee and Auburn. Tennessee. Hey! Oh. You yes. They on the different uh, things. Nah, they on the same side, but they got to knock off some killers. I, I, I'm trying to. Look, I'm trying to see. I said how what I often, said. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to see how often are they gonna have. Sister Jean on camera for Naomi Chicago, the over under. I got UAB beating Houston. I do too. UAB's UAB's hot right now. Hey, UAB nice now. Hey, look, they got some signs and they running. Then they got one one of JQ homeboys that's doing a lot better than JQ right now. I like. I like. I like UAB. Jelly Fam J. They gonna be a good. They gonna be a good game. I'm gonna say this. UAB. UAB, yeah, hold on to Kennedy. Hold on to Kennedy, UAB. Keep him. Hold on to him. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going to go nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. All right, one last question. That's How coach far? That's the coach at uh, uh, Cincinnati, then. Do what now? And Ole Miss. Same coach that he's coached at Cincinnati. Yeah. And Ole Miss. Yeah. And Ole Miss. Yeah, Ole Miss, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, re- he recruited me when he was at Cincinnati. That's how I remember. Right. The Ole most Ole important Ole. question, how far does Alabama get in the tournament? <laughs> Man, we just I just to told you. Texas Tech. <laughs> Texas Tech, okay. He just told you. No, no, I'm the bearer of bad news. You the bearer of bad news? You gonna let him speak for all y'all? Yeah, he, man, he spoke my for us. Us, My daughter got us playing Colgate in the next championship game. So all hey, right. Look, 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 I'm gonna go out of the I'm gonna go out of the I'm gonna put my faith for Ron's daughter. <laughs> I'm in the bracket she did because you can tie that one up. <laughs> she one. But I'm look, the bracket she got because that one I told her, ripped that one up. <laughs> she got us being Texas Tech. We knocking off Duke, knocking off Gonzaga Ooh, again. No, That's what's up. Okay. I like okay. that. I, I like I that. For, for I like her confidence, man. I like her confidence right now. I got to get on that. 
We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, before I send us out, remind everybody, if you're in the Atlanta area, you need a home, check out our boy Cyrus Jones. Atlanta Luxury Real Estate number is on the screen right there. But also, if you got any fencing needs, whether you're residential or commercial, DJ Petway Precision, I can't, Precision, Fencing, numbers on the screen I there. Precision or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I see, Kenny, I see you got the trucking on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got the trucking coming man. That, that's, that's what's up, that's man. Hard, that's, that's hard beating it up, man. How many you got? What, gas that went up, boy. I feel for <laughs> I we ain't gonna talk about it. We ain't gonna talk about it. Don't worry about it. We ain't gonna talk about it. <laughs> How many you got though? Oh, I got one. I had two of them. I sold one. I got one now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah, trying to, to get the game. Man, it's, it's tough right now. But well, yeah, I, you know, I work yeah, at FedEx. I be seeing boys come through them trailers trying to get gas. We, I think yeah, our diesel yeah. right now four seventy five. You heard me, Ken? No. What did you say, brother? I said, oh, I had to get which I know a company that can help you out, make it more easy for you. Okay, better, yeah. yeah That's better. what's up. Okay. More yeah. Right. And uh, tune in next week. We'll have Alabama legend Kerry Good on the on the show. So definitely turn turn into that. Tune in. I can't speak, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, y'all want to check that out, fellas. Thank y'all so much for showing up tonight. And giving us your thoughts, your politically incorrect thoughts. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's what this show is about. But yeah, man, thank y'all for uh, jumping in with us. Uh, yeah, we good, appreciate man. it, man. Enjoy it, man. Enjoy speaking with the fellas, man. No doubt. We'll do it again soon. Hey, if we get past uh, Texas Tech, we'll, we'll jump oh, yeah, on. Yeah. yeah, we got to come back on with yeah. Texas Tech. Bro, if that happens. Hey, 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 for real. If, 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 if we, we get far around, we gotta have you gotta have your daughter on the show. You gotta have your daughter we, on the show. Practice. She, has practice. she has swim practice right now, but I, I'll yeah. make sure we get a chance to get back on. She'll be here. Okay. If, they they win the first, if, if they win the first one, then they play six six day on the second one. So they'll be like what that Sunday or something? When yeah, it'll be on Sunday. Sunday. It'll be yeah, Sunday. Yeah. This Sunday. Uh, so they win. This Sunday? Yeah. 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 They gotta win when they play Thursday, the first game Thursday. Friday. 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 When they play Friday. Friday. Right. Winner Between, of Rutgers uh, and Notre Dame. Notre Dame and Rutgers. It's going to be tough right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. They should be able to get one of either one of them. They should. I just say, man, on a neutral floor, man, just let it all hang out. Just play ball, man. Like I said, we could be anybody. We just play. We yeah. take care of it. We cool. Mm -hmm. We take care of the ball. We cool. We get out and just came right. in the game. Right, you in Birmingham? Right. No, I'm in Georgia now. Oh, okay. What about you, Ken? I've been in Georgia for I'm the last Mobile. five years. Mobile, Alabama. Mobile. Yeah. All right, guys. Great show tonight. Enjoyed it. Yes, Roll sir. Tide. Yeah, I appreciate it. Roll, Roll Tide. Tide. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Let's go.